guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mosa Blowers. Uh, good morning. I'm headed off to see my mom. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm taking the sketchy truck over to her place. And uh, what I did last time over there was uh, took out the old battery from the Blue Beauty. I'm sorry, the Black Beauty. Uh, the battery has been in there for a few years, you know, and it, every time I go over there to mow the lawn, uh, every couple of weeks or so during the summer, it won't start. So. I uh, got a new diehard battery from Advanced Auto Parts, um, and I'm gonna bring it over there to install today. Also, I remember last time, I was looking at the deck of the Black Beauty. It looked like it had some really crazy bends and maybe a crack or two. So I'm bringing my new Rylon stick welder with me because it's small enough to just throw into the truck and, and go. So uh, we're gonna try to fix up the uh, Black Beauty a little bit. See you later. Oh, say hello, Boba. He gets nervous when he uh, is in the car. Okay, I'm at my mom's house here in Queens, New York City. If you guys are from New York, I've been to Queens. I'm in Douglaston, a couple exits away from the Nassau County, New York City border. There's the Black Beauty. So what I was talking about before is... Look at the condition of the deck here. I'm going to have to do some bendage to bend this stuff back into place again because it's um, not exactly smooth and level in the backyard. Here, let me get this out so that you guys can see better. Okay, here I'm on the other side. If you can see, there's a couple of hits there. And I've got the mulch plug on here. Oh, that, that's what I was talking about here. There's something going on over there. I gotta take the mulch plug off so we can get a better look at it. But there's definitely some damage there. And of course, the main purpose of me coming over today is to replace the battery. I took the battery home. It tend to, ended up to be bad. I recharged it again. It seemed to be good. But in the interim, I had bought a new battery and I'm going to put it in today. But let's take off this mulch plug and see what's going on with this deck. I want to try to fix it. Okay, mulch plug is off. That's what it looks like. This is steel, by the way. Um, now I remember, I had actually tried to repair the frame here. And uh, I welded that part right there, see? And it uh, I must have hit something and I messed it all up. So I'm gonna try to find some metal something or other and try to fix that better. That looks, that looks crappy. go the ugliest thing ever but i use some uh, i don't know i don't know what it is <laughs> some metal thing i don't know found in the garage somewhere fits solid i mean this thing will never flex it is solid solid 
no flexing ever, and I made sure that the blade didn't touch. This part is super ugly, super ugly, but it is solid. I'll bring some black paint next time and uh, just paint it over. It's a deck, no big deal, but solid. Let's see, uh, this side didn't have to do much, just repair some of the cracks. It's also ugly, but it's solid. <laughs> so I'll just get some uh, black paint, paint it over next time. It'll be fine. All right, here we got my brand new diehard battery. I got it from uh, Advance Auto Parts. I used a lot of credit from my recycled batteries. I gave in like five or six batteries, got like 60 or $70 credit. Bought this for like 40. So uh, it's a decent battery. It's a 160 cold cranking amps, 200 cranking amps above 32 degrees. And it's a U1-1. Positive is on the right side. So I got to put it in this way. And then I have to find some kind of connector to connect that better. Two, between two washers would be fine. And look at that. The mulch cover fits perfectly. Now let's give this thing a start. Got the new battery installed, fix the deck. Let's give it a try. All right. Let's see if this baby starts up. Been a whole year. Well, one winter. This thing is so reliable. Fantastic. So we gave it a brand new battery for the year 2022, uh, 2023, and uh, this will hopefully uh, be good for another three years or so, uh, two years maybe, three years if I stretch it. Uh, did some stick welding on the uh, cracks and bends of the deck. Uh, I know I, I really should get a new deck, but it's hard to get a Murray deck. You know, it is hard, especially in that condition. So I got to keep trying to repair it as as I go, you know, there's not an abundance of these kind of decks rolling around that it's in this shape. It's a, it's in good shape, you know, but just got to maintain the cracks and stuff. And having that stick welder, I mean, I really enjoyed doing it. It looks like hell, but you can grind that up and clean it up if you want. But I'm just going to splash it with some paint next time I'm here. And uh, this deck is now good for another season for sure because it's super sturdy now with all the welds. I am driving home in traffic. And I get a check engine light. Very first one. Uh, I don't know what it's all about. So I'm home and I had my King Bolin small OBD2 thing in my car. So it's uh, what I expected. 
This is the original codes that I got when I first bought it. But they weren't bad enough for it to not pass inspection. But this time, the actually, the codes actually came out. P130, which is the O2 sensor circuit, bank one, sensor one, and the P150, O2 sensor circuit, bank two. So what I'm thinking is... You know, um, I just changed the battery on here. And so at, at a point in time, the battery was disconnected from the car. So the PCM or ECU of the car has to learn your driving habits. So I just don't think I drove it enough for it to learn, if you will. Um, I think after I drive it for a little bit longer, it'll eventually learn my driving habits. Therefore, the computer's used to it being driven a certain way. I believe the guy used to tow stuff with this car. So now I'm not towing stuff. So it's, you know, the lean, rich kind of mixture with a computer does something, whatever. So I don't really think that I should do anything about it. Maybe I should raise the codes right now and see if it pops back up again after a while. So we'll just press OK. We'll go back. And um, go back again. And let's erase the codes. Do you want to clear the trouble codes? OK. DTCs have been erased and light went off. <laughs> Look what I came home to. A $500 drone, my most expensive drone yet. Let's hope this one works. Also, you guys remember the Troy built Honda engine that I uh, picked off the street when I was walking my dog and my neighbor threw it out? Well, we got this thing running and uh, cleaned up and listed for about $200. But then I was walking Boba the other day and the same neighbor, the one who threw this out, he flags me down and says, hello. I says, hello. He goes, I got the bag for you. Do you want it? I'm like, absolutely, I want it. <laughs> I just love the way things work out. Fantastic. Of course, now I have to replace the pictures that I took with this without a bag and now take new pictures with the bag on there. Hmm, maybe I'll raise the price now. $225. There's another adventure of Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's adventure. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. This guy screwed this up. I'm gonna see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.